Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between. This is Amanda. And I'm Emily. And today we are continuing Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Yes. There were a lot All of right, comments so about what I should be doing next, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I believe I, we're still at, I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, I think, I, I think um, the major consensus, what I was going to say is that we need to upgrade weapons and armor. Um, yes. And also, also there are a few more side quests. I'm, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was going to say also, uh, we are still with Isaac, I believe, is where we saved last. Yes. So, uh, and he is going to have, and uh, Bunchy said that he has some side quests, so. Yeah. Evening. About that gift. Here. And thanks again hey, money. for your help earlier. <laughs> and remember what I told you about LaCroix. You're good, kid. He doesn't deserve you. Thank you. Nobody does. <laughs> Nobody does. <laughs> I'll say thank you. Although I know you want me to lean Anarch so badly. I don't know. I feel like he doesn't care. Isaac Either doesn't way. care? Yeah, because he said I'll leave that for you to decide who to trust. Well, that's more like saying, hey, this is your life. On life. <clears throat> Dead life. <clears throat> On life. <laughs> okay, let me look, check out the log. Oh, yes. The motel receptionist. The food critic. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to hold off going to Chinatown. And then we have the apartment. Oh, wait, let me check and see if I have any point. Ah, look. There you go. Everybody keeps being like, increase your disciplines, Emily. Use more of them. I'm like, all right. And I'm going to increase potence. Because that's what I'm good at. I'm good at fighting yeah. and I like button mashing. So. <laughs> Hit them hard. Yes. <clears throat> All right, the food critic was right next door. Yeah, we did say I might not have enough seduction, though. Yeah. Maybe there's another way. What they call Romano, more flat bread and olive oil. Best. And take back the Chardonnay and open up a Chianti. Let it breathe for 20 minutes and then bring it out with a ziti. Okay? I just wanted to... I wanted to know what. Interrupt me while I'm working. Okay. I just thought I'd say hi. Now go get yourself some onion rings or hot wings or whatever it is you eat. The refined palate of a true gourmand is, oh, to put it in a language you can relate to, trying to decide if this place is thumbs up or thumbs down. <laughs> Your thumb's going to make an appearance in your ass. Who are you? Me, Tommy Flayton, the food authority of Los Angeles, food critic for the biggest paper on the West Coast. Just the man I wanted I'm to not talk sure to. not exactly what you mean. I just oh. love your work. Thanks. Oh, no. You're wasting my time. Oh, no. Okay. okay. Oh. should only be allowed in places with happy meals and grand slam friends. <clears throat> Looks like you need to up your seduction for this quest. Yeah. Rigatoni. More like Rigatonti. Rigatonti. I punch one chair and the fight music comes on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Night eating you? Not that manuscript. A good writer always does in this town. Hey, hey, you, you in the business? Because, man, I got tons of ideas for movies. In fact, I should give you one of my completed screenplays. This one's still a work in progress. I think writers are so cool. Could I borrow it? Of course. I, I hope you find it a stimulating read. Thanks. Oh, by the way, did you have any collaborators on this? I really can't talk about it. He likes his privacy. Um Here's my offer. You get to I'm going to I'm going to intimidate him. Mm. Just to I cuz I don't want to give him my money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need right. that for the armor. His name, he just, man, he goes by Julius. That's all I know. I'm, I'm supposed to meet him tonight. He's just a weird beach bum under the Santa Monica Pier. Man, why are you doing this to me? Um, thank you for your cooperation, David. Remember, about all this, shh. 
Okay. okay. So we're going back to Santa Monica. Um, what did the quest log say? Did you say, did you tell Velvet to, that she had to take care of the contact? I think probably. Yeah, let's look at that. Successfully in your request to obtain David Hatter's collaborator's name, it's Julius, one of the thin bloods that hangs out on the beach in Santa Monica. Okay, so you do have to go back to Santa Monica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Velvet's not going to do it. Nope. It also said there was a side quest in the ass hole. Yes. Which you just passed. I know, but I'm going to talk to Velvet and clean this up. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Look who's back. Velvet. Please, call me Vivi. Okay, so now it's Vivi. I thought yep. I had her. Mm -hmm. Here's a screenplay. Oh, I suppose I should just tear it up. But I just, I can't. I can't rip up the product of that man's soul. Here, would you? Tear it up for me. See, people are like, oh, Velvet's so nice. But then it's like, she just wants other people to do stuff that she doesn't want to do herself. Yeah. But I don't want to call her a pompous poser, Tori, or a crybaby. There's a... <laughs> So posers are, that's a, actually another term for a different Toreador. There, there are artists and there are posers. Artists are actual artists. So what an actual artist is varies, but a poser is someone who uh, considers their body a work of art or isn't, or is just beautiful. Okay, I'll do it. Thanks. Found out the name of the source. Are they? I mean, did you? As I said, I won't kill him. His name's Julius. He's at the mm. pier. I guess I'll ask someone else to finish this. Isaac has condoned the punishment. But I, like yourself, am no executioner. I mean, I totally am. I just... Uh, it's unfortunate. Bye, Velvet. I just don't... Re I just have a hard time respecting her. I get it. I get that, yeah. She, you know, she can be... Or come across as a little manipulative, yes. I got a masquerade redemption. Yep. Because you saved that script from getting published. Yes, I did. All right. To the yes pole, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis Leary, anybody? <laughs> yep. Oh, let's see if that guy with the freaking katana is there. Oh. Who is? Yes, sir. Oh, but um. Oh, yeah, no, go ahead. <laughs> Sir. I Okay, again, it's like, I can't even talk to this dude. <laughs> hey, baby. Hey, big thunder man. Hmm. Like, just, just put a man with a sword. <laughs> somewhere and, and just expect me to be okay with it oh brother i wonder if um <laughs> <laughs> so uh the guy who owns the ass pole is isaac's child i wonder if that's part of the um uh side quest that you get from isaac oh so uh, maybe i have to talk to isaac maybe i don't know <sighs> oh i'm back Ah, okay. There were a few things in the alleys, like this thing. What? No, wait for me to get in. Okay. What were you saying? Oh, nothing. I was just wondering where it would uh, take you. Ah. Well. Oh, just the other side. Yeah. All right, so maybe I have to go find Isaac, or do I have to go back to my apartment and read my emails? I just yeah, want to figure out emails. who this weeb is with the katana. <laughs> but yeah, your email should have more uh, quests 
from you. Because there was that one from Gary where he said he'll give you a sexy poster if mm -hmm. you do it, but I don't know if you're interested Thank in that. You. Bless you. Thank you. All right. Anything else? Oh, yes. The model. <clears throat> yeah. Thank you. Bless you. Excuse me. Thank you. Yeah, I think they, that was across from the Lucky Star Motel. Yeah. Oh, when we go back downtown, I do want to sell some stuff to Larry. Yeah, good idea. Okay. So I'm not supposed to kill her. No. Just place the cameras. Yeah. Celebrity Ash Rivers walks away from deadly crash. Oh, so the katana guy is Ash. Maybe? I didn't think Ash had a katana, but sure. Well, then who's katana that's, man? Well, that's the, that's the guy. Ash is the is Isaac's child. Yes. There's someone in here! Oh, oh dear. Bathroom and kitchen. Stop, 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 stop! You said bathroom and kitchen? Yeah, I'm sorry. I can't hear the game right now. Um, so if I interrupted anything or if there was like someone actively looking, I didn't hear that. I'm sorry. <gasps> well, that's no good. Again, I'm not good at sneaking. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. We're just going to turn around and head back in. <laughs> I hope this game resets. Bathroom and kitchen? Yes. I think. Do you want to check your quest log? Oh, you botched the setup for Amalia. Oh. Um, well. Oh, well, you don't have to sneak. So what do you want me to do? Just run in? Well, you, the quest I failed it already. Can't. Yeah, you <laughs> failed it already. All right. That's okay. I I've got other things I, I really don't care that much. <laughs> Hey, it's an excuse not to go back to the Nosferatu brood. Mm -hmm. So, all right. What else do I have to do? Okay, the food critic, sarcophagus. More fun with pestilence. Um, you didn't speak with the homeless uh, population, yeah. which is so you could do that when you go back downtown as well. Yeah. Barabbas, that's part of Chinatown, that's tied to the sarcophagus. Yep. And Lily, we may never see again, somebody mentioned. Yeah, somewhat, people have said that she's gone, because if E left, which he probably did, then um, the in. Lily quest can't be completed. Okay, let's go to Santa Monica. Wait, why are we going to Santa Monica? I don't remember. <laughs> Let's go Julius downtown. was there, but you, Julius was there, but you already told Vel uh, Velvet to take care of it. Do it I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then. Going somewhere. Let's go downtown. Yeah. My cat's rubbing her head against my leg. Aw. Of course, if I pick her up, she'll try to run away. Yeah. Oh, 
Say now, Wonder Girl, seeing the kind of commando gear you've been stocking up on, you ain't just using that stuff for keeping the neighbors away from your shit, is you? So? Wow, 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 uh, that's your business, okay. I just figured somebody with a shopping list like yours might be up for a little action czar, all right? What have you got in mind? Yo, I need a hardcore pimp killing Cleopatra Jones for a super-sized skull. Straight up Foxy Pam Greer style. Still with me? You, you got my attention. Well, here's what's going mm -hmm. down. I got a tip that the Chinatown Tong and some local boys are meet down at a nearby parking garage to carry out a business deal. Now, I can't tell you what they is exchanging, but let's just say a certain client of mine is ready to drop some Uncle Sam sized bucks to acquire what's in briefcase number one. You get it for me. I'ma not only give you a cut, but I roll out my special stock as well. Now, how that sound? All right. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Now, if you're the straight out hard boy Terminator type, I'd suggest you buy some heavy firepower before you roll up to the parking garage. You need anything? Let's see what you got. Because I want to sell, sell you some the stuff tire too. I'd sell the tire iron as well, just because I don't think you've ever used it. Yeah. Oh, I got. Sell, 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 sell. Oh, that's for Lily. Five dollars, sell. Damn. Sell. I have so much morphine. You have so, so much morphine. <laughs> sell, sell. Sell. Okay. Mummy wrap fetish. You could technically sell the webcam now too, I guess. It does it's not worth anything. Okay, well then you could probably put it back in storage. Yeah. Oh, somebody also suggested a sledgehammer. But I don't see one. Yeah, they I think there was a suggestion to either go back to Mercurio or go to Chinatown for yeah. armor and uh weapon. Weapons. Is that where it's going down? Chinatown? Whoops. Nearby parking garage in downtown. So it's gotta be down here. Yeah. You don't have to notice anything, officer. <laughs> probably not an officer, probably just a parking attendant. Well, he is, yeah, whatever. All right. People keep telling me where the, all the hotkeys are. Please don't bother me. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> also, Truly a tool for madmen. This... Who else would attack fire with a blade? <laughs> Also, I want to uh, just thank everyone for not spoiling anything in the comment section for Emily. Because I truly wanted this to be a first-hand blind exper um, experience, and that's hard to do with an old game. But y'all have kept it spoiler-free, and I'm very thankful for that. hi -ya! <laughs> With that in mind... <laughs> Uh, look at how the wee bullets barely hurt you. You brought baseball bats to an axe fight, boy. <laughs> I feel like celerity did not help me. Oh, there you are. Ew. He did the splits. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many NPCs did the splits after dying. Would I really be surprised? No. With that ragdoll effect? Yeah. Uh, the other thing is you can also uh, stack. Yep. Uh, 
There we go. There we go. I feel like celerity is not helping me at all. Like, none of these guys are actually moving slower. Yeah, I'm dying. You're fine. You also have a blood bag if need be. Yep. Get over here! I'm like, what's this? Like, who is that? Scorpion? Get over here! Get over here! Scorpion, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just you left, sir. I will eat you then. Velvet's over there, like, don't. I'm no executioner, and neither are you. Bullshit. <laughs> yes, I am. I just don't want to do your dirty work anymore. <sighs> just because you don't want to do it. All right. Well, let's find that briefcase then. I think I may or may not have murdered all the witnesses. So, oh, there we go, sir. <laughs> Let me eat you. Good job. Okay. All right, would it be in a limo? It may there be guys dropped. Down like the key card in the museum. It may be a dropped item. Ah. There's more parking down there. Right, who wants to maybe have downstairs? To, maybe have to go even further down. Yeah. I hope they let you take the elevator back up. I feel like celerity is not helping me at all. You're right. Unless yeah, I'm missing uh, something. Someone please correct us if you're noticing anything different. Like, maybe it's just because... Maybe it's just some weird thing with the patch like we've been having with all the graphics stuff. Yeah. Because the graphics look fine right now. I feel like the blood yeah. splatter looks like blood splatter rather than squares. So... <laughs> yeah. Car stereo, there we car go. Car stereo. <laughs> more car stereos for me to pick up and sell. And there's more parking downstairs. And there we have a Dukes Oh, of... oh, oh dear. Oh Duke, dear. Is this a Dukes of Hazard slash racist? Oh, well. Out in California, that's in, that seems really out of place. So. In Los Angeles, of all places. Yeah. Get, get back here. Did he just like surrender or something? What did, did I miss that? Freeze, no, he wasn't. Oh. <laughs> it seems like it looks like for a second he like kneeled down yeah. or something. He's probably kneeling to shoot something. Yeah. Sorry, my cat is literally at my feet and she looks so cute, but I can't show you. Oh, 
Hey, assholes. Oh, wait, now we got a whole bunch of briefcases. Oh, and they're Can hitting I... you with it. Can I get like a grenade or something? Let me go around. Don't forget to save. Save. I know. Stop. Right Leave. Stop. All right, I saved. Sorry, I just remembered the issues that we were having <laughs> last time. All right, y'all can come up here. Yes, good, good, Emily. Do the Spartan thing where you funnel them. Uh, uh, oh, he's not even looking at you. They're killing each other. Are they? Yeah, you see? I mean, you can go at, still go in and jump in and end this quickly. Oh yeah, but I figure like if 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 I could probably I could I could do that or I could you know wait and let them finish it. <laughs> like not waste my energy. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that's what I have done in some games in the past. It's like, eh. but I don't think they're gonna let you take the briefcases unless they're all dead. Yeah. Oh, there it is. All right, there you go. <laughs> See ya. Bye. And I cannot take the elevator. That's nice. All right, there we go. Yeah, good job, then. Just down the, down the way from Larry. Yep. Okay. But yeah, I, I didn't see anything else with celerity. I know everyone keeps saying it'll put you into bullet time, like the Matrix. I did not. See I didn't that. see that at all. I, I maybe or maybe it was just so small. I didn't notice it. Yeah. Because I did see there were lines of where the bullets were traveling, but it, I don't think it would have helped Emily from what I saw. I, I didn't find it to be very helpful. Okay. Which is disappointing because everyone has been saying how helpful it would be. Mm hmm Especially with, like, being a bruja. Mm-hmm. And how that would help in boss fights to come. But I think you're doing fine with potents. Um, yeah. You know, I might be a little concerned about your health. So if there is another way we can do that, then that might be, you know, stack that and up it. But, you know, if you're able to just hit people and dodge. <laughs> yeah. Baby girl. I got the briefcase. Outstanding. Pass it here, girl. Yeah, that's beautiful. Everything looks in order. Somebody somewhere got to be pissed off by losing this. <laughs> Too bad I sent my main girl here after him. <laughs> All right. Let me peel off a few bills for you. I'll just drop this off to the new owner in the morning. Then I'm going to get me a big old steak. Not that domestic stuff neither. I'm going to order up 32 ounces of Kobe beef, the expensive <laughs> shit. You want to come? My treat. Uh, watch you eat a big hunk of meat. Think I'll hit the zoo later. No, <laughs> oh, that's so weak. Thanks, Larry. 
St. Larry's night. Okay, let's go talk to Venus. Yeah, get all the money we can so we can just get stock Bribe all the weapons. And uh, talk to the homeless population to see if we can uh, figure out about the plague bearers. Mm -hmm. Money, right? Come back in a few nights. I'll have another wad for you. Okay. I don't see enough sitting out there. All right, Venus. <laughs> Hey, she's giving you free money, so... That's true. Alright, let's go figure this Plague Bearer stuff out. Yes. <sighs> I, let me see if I can check my email, though, first, actually. Oh, yeah, good idea, good idea. Because we have to do something about that CD. Mm-hmm. For Bertram. I think someone in the comments said it was... From the emails, but I may have mistaken that. Oh no, I'm I'm not on six. I'm on four, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> Sorry, I'm letting you do your thing. It's just like over here, like yes, I'm in the penthouse. <laughs> I I hit four. I think they're on four. And oh me. no! <laughs> <laughs> Emily, just push another button! I'm an adult. <laughs> You'll want to put the X. <laughs> oh, stop. Oh, yeah. And you can also, uh, let's put some things in the um, trunk, too, that we don't need. Okay. Um... Okay. The cameras. I don't have enough space. Eh, uh, well. We can put it back in the other haven. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad you're back. I've been waiting forever. I've been kind of nervous. I can't feel you inside my veins anymore. I just need a little more, please. Yes. Just a few drops. Uh. All right, here you go. <sighs> Thank you. <sighs> I feel amazing. I feel so much better. Like I'm the most important person in the world. Next to you, of course. See you later, Heather. I'm regretting we did this. Yeah. She does it give just, you things. I know, it just is creepy. Feels creepy, yeah. Whoops. my A button not working anymore? Oh. <gasps> well, the good news is no emails are on red, so it doesn't even matter. Okay. Okay, the plague. Yeah. Oh, and then do we want to try and talk to Pisha? If you want to, yeah, we could try it. Wait, I oh I failed the Carnival of Death. Let the serial killer go, thereby allowing his killing spree to continue unchecked. I hope you feel good about yourself. Fuck you. I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> you know what? I want you to do these quests the way you do them. I didn't want to spoil anything for you. You know what? That's not my job. Why is it my job to do everybody's dirty work? Don't we have a sheriff for that? He's a lot bigger and more powerful than me. Get the, send the sheriff. Hmm. <laughs> it's okay. 
it's like if you don't have certain people whose job is it it, it is to enforce the law you can't just force that on people All right, let's find a group of homeless people. Um, you may want to check outside the last round because I think that's where Damsel uh, suggested. So that's my guess is that um, they wouldn't have you go looking too far away from where the quest okay. um, was given. Out of my way. Oh, screw you. Eh? So what do you want? I need to ask you about the sickness that's plaguing yeah. the homeless. Well, I'd feel a lot more like talking if you gave me a few bucks, you know? How about a 20 to lubricate the old vocal cords? Make it a little sugar. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't know too much about nothing, but I know that Tin Can Bill's been telling some crazy stories about how he's got sick and all. Something about a monster or some such. Where is Tin Can Bill? You can usually find him down in his alleyway, just across from that bar nearby. Thank you. There we go. Like what you said, Manda. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was this way. Yeah. I got all this money just to use that seduction skill, so I didn't have to pay all this person. Hey, yeah, the money. The money is for you, and your armor and weapons. Yeah. What is that noise? Oh, what noise? <laughs> I have no idea. I, like I said, I can't hear anything. I know, but you'll hear it in editing. And <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not back here. <laughs> My impeccable imitation. <laughs> oh. I was wondering if it was me because I'm like making a little like, aw, Selena. <laughs> oh, there, that was a glitch. Somebody just flew by. Oh. <laughs> or it was a. It was for a vampire. Very few vampires can fly. Well, they, it was, they ran fast. Like when the Nosferatu yeah. was. Ah, uh, 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 okay, okay. Okay. Take a walk, pal. Uh oh. Whoa. You got any cans? Hmm. Here's my stuff, man. Get away from my stuff. Guess it wasn't this far. Or maybe it was down here? Wait. Nope. Okay. Who's there, huh? Old Bill can't see too good these days. Is that you, Betty? I ain't got no booze tonight, so you may as well get the hell out of here. It's not Betty Bill. I heard that you can tell me why everyone is getting sick. Um, I don't need your booze, old man. Tell me about the... Okay, number one. Yeah, I might be able to. <laughs> but I'm awful thirsty tonight, miss. You spare five bucks for a man who's been down on his luck. Uh, you yes. can give him five. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Thank you much. <laughs> I'm going to have to go pick up some hooch. <laughs> for medicinal purposes, you know. <laughs> now, I know you ain't going to believe old Bill. Because I've been telling my friends and the cops and everyone since it happened. And people just say that it's the hooch talking and nothing more. That's all right, I believe you. It was a monster, you see. A monster with his face all twisted and ugly. Teeth longer than your finger. And his eyes, piss yellow and full of hate. I've never seen eyes like that before. Still giving me bad dreams. So tell me what happened. He grabbed me. Threw me over her shoulder, took me to the bad place, the dark place. <laughs> oh God, the smell, worse than anything I've. And then he bit me, my neck. Oh God, it was horrible. 
don't remember too much after that. Blacked out and woke up here in my alley. <laughs> Haven't been feeling too well since then. <laughs> um, Bill, I need to know where the monster took you. I'm not sure it's sewers he did. Just around the corner there. <laughs> Don't want to go back to the bed place again. <laughs> Don't let the monster come back and take me there. <laughs> Bill, stay with me. Everything's going to be all right. Don't worry, Bill. That's a bummer. <laughs> Gosh. Oh. Don't worry, Bill. Someone's going to pay for this. Oh, no. He died. Oh. Is that the sewer? It's a sewer. Well. Oh, that's back up. Doesn't seem right, but we'll give it a try. Oh! Well, I guess that's a way out, which is yeah. worrisome. Oh! Oh, Lord. I see someone at the end of the hall. You know what that means. Ganondorf. <laughs> um... <laughs> All that's missing is the organ music. No, it's Silence of the Lambs. <sighs> Sounds like the end of Vampyr, doesn't it? Or I, I should say, the end of Vampyr feels like this. <laughs> I can hear breathing. Thought I saw somebody. Hooks? What kind of weird... On your way down here, did you? Following the smell of entrails there and rotting flesh. For a few little little bloodsucker, there's meat galore in my kingdom. Who the hell are you? Brother Canker, they call me. High Lord in the diseased halls of the dead. Look around you. The blood. The bloated bodies, the maggot-ripped mortal shells. These are the signs, the coming of a new age. You mean of the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle? Why would I know that? Because you already uh, killed Jezebel. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we left this question alone for a while. <laughs> Why are you feeding on the homeless? They are the weak, sick. Hopeless. I bring them a new purpose. They are the vessels of darkness, carrying the diseased truth in their veins. So I, I appreciate your monologue, but I'm looking at the switch to your right, and I just really want to switch it. <laughs> <laughs> or to my right. Or the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle. The Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle. The darkest dawn is almost upon us. Join us in these last nights, spreading our disease upon the earth, sharing this unholy communion with our human heart. I appreciate the invitation. What the hell are you talking about? The doors have been opened, the seals broken, and the final steps into the abyss, the terrible mysteries of the ninth circle. But I was supposed to finish this a while back, so he should be easy to yeah. kill. <laughs> It'll be fine. 
join the disciples who have gathered here, floating in their own putrescence. I will show you the mysteries of our brotherhood as I feed on your flesh! Come get some, brother. Now let me get some axe. <laughs> <laughs> The Brotherhood Flyer. Oh, what is that movie? We can finally pull it now. <laughs> You've killed a second plague bear and found a flyer with a strange symbol on it. You should go talk to Damsel about this. Damsel and probably um, Strauss. Yeah, Strauss as well. Oh, wait, actually, let me... Somebody said... There we go. H. <laughs> oh, and save. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, I just remembered. The hard time. Yeah, that's true. Is this it? Okay. supposed to do this? Maybe not. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you can, but you saved, right? Right beforehand. Wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> what a lucky uh, happenstance. Yeah, you shouldn't have gotten stuck, or you wouldn't get stuck. Right. I hate how it goes into first person. That's so annoying to me. Oh, shoot. Nope. Oh, wait. wait. But that's the exit, because you were here. This oh, is wait. Yes. <laughs> Oh, open. No, it should be out that hole. Not that one, the other one. This one? Yeah, because I remember when you came in, you were facing one. Oh, of right, right, yeah. There you go. All oh. right. All right, we finally took care of the plague bear. Or almost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can finally see what the truth is nonsense is yeah you know. damsel and then strauss yeah Do you know what this symbol is? Yeah, I've seen this. Pretty sure I've seen it around here somewhere. One of the buildings, I think. I'll go look for it. Hey, I heard that. Guess we'll have to look and see what the symbol is. <laughs> I think I bet it's that skull. Oh right, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah, like that yeah. thing. Don't you think? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So it's so we were heading in the right direction anyway. Okay, cool. Uh 
I swear, if he doesn't say yeah, it's all on the wall across the street. I don't know. <laughs> Strauss, what do you do? <laughs> he just stays here. Stays. Just inside. never leaves. Hello, neonate. How can I be of assistance? Do you have a few of minutes? Course. I'm still looking for the cause of the epidemic. Well, return when you have more information. All right. I just saw a thing in the sewer, and I don't want to, and I don't tell him about that. I guess not. He would probably say it's a Nosferatu, and they're in the sewer. That's usually where they live. Oh, that did not look like a Nosferatu. I mean, he is a Nosferatu. Is it? Yeah, he's a Nosferatu. Uh, okay. The only other um vampires that would look differently would be Gangrel, but they look more animalistic. Or Simishi. Hello, sir. What's up, sister? You enlightened? Yes. I see. Welcome to the Brotherhood. The bishop will see you upstairs. Thank you. Oh, well, there's also Salubri, but, you know, they usually hide it. They've got another eye on their forehead. Actually, funny story. So, um, well, not funny story, but a little bit of interesting lore while we're looking around. Uh, so the Samishi don't trust the Tremere because uh, the Tremere originally were just considered an offshoot, not a full clan. And then some of the Tremere elders decided to diablerize the Salubri. Hey. Um, oh. did, did you get summoned? You're going up upstairs to see the bishop. Summoned. You're new to the Brotherhood, huh? Just got enlightened. I, I've been here a few days. <laughs> when the bishop wants to see you, you'll be summoned, and then you go up these um, these stairs up to the, the t temple. What goes on up there? I don't know. I mean, I, I hear things, but but I haven't been summoned. I had a friend snuck up there a few days ago. She said she saw things, bad, bad things. Yeah. What did she see? Blood. She said, um, b blood everywhere. She, um, she saw a few of the summoned to try to, uh, oh, to talk to them, but they just, just stared at her with these, um, these woe blank looks, you know? No, one of them, uh, started reaching for her and she she ran away why don't you leave then maybe the brotherhood isn't all it's cracked up to be yeah, yeah. i know the, the bishop said we have to shed our um our uh, our earthly fears on our journey to the to the ninth circle but i'm um, scared to go upstairs i I just, uh, I just, I just want to go home. You know, I want to go home. Uh, y you should go then. Uh, I don't know yeah, why you so don't you just remember... leave, <laughs> madam. I, I don't know why, I don't know why you don't just leave, madam. I don't know, but to uh, finish my story, uh, you, you remember Smiling Jack telling you about Diablery? Yeah. Um, so apparently the Tremere only became a full-fledged clan after they diablerized the, uh, Salubri Antediluvian. Meaning the founder of Clan Salubri. And of course, <laughs> no, I'm just saying that mostly to the crowd of yeah. people who will be watching this in the future. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like... Just, yeah. Also, actually, just tied to this game, it's supposed that the Antediluvian for Clan Salubri also may have uh, created the Quay Jin, but that's unconfirmed. Since we've spoken about the Quay Jin in this game. Yeah. But there are no Salubri in this game, so it has no context 
for what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I'm just okay. I'm just gonna... I'm in The Walking Dead right now, so... I'm just, I'm just thinking about The Walking Dead and all these body parts that are just no, strewn across. I like how thorough you're being, you know, going into every room. Well, yeah, I mean, they're gonna come out anyway, and... I know it's like world building and all that bullshit, but it's like, there may, there may be something in here for me to pick up. Hey, hey, hey! Oh, it's a zombie again! Brains. Freaking brings! Here, you guys should head head over to Hollywood. Really? Yeah, the graveyard there. There's a great man camping out there. So he'd love your attention. Yeah, you should eat him. No, don't eat him, but, you know, he enjoy the target practice, I'm sure. Yeah, that's sick, weird fuck. Oh, hi. Oh, there you are. Hi. Okay. Alright, where's the bishop? He'll probably be in a big room. It's a big important room at the top. Right. <sighs> Let's go down this hole. Maybe. I don't know. I don't remember this. Okay, so I'm back here. Oh, that was probably a way out. A, a quick way out. Oh. Hey. Okay, because there was a hole in the wall, and I was like, it's either through that or somewhere else. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, at least to be clear when you leave. Hopefully, yeah. Alright. Alright. Hello. That guy just stood out of nowhere. I, I know. <laughs> He's dead. Alright, where was that hole in the wall? It's probably back upstairs. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to get out of oh. here, Amanda. I don't think you've been... What's that door? No, I was in here. Okay. What door? The double door. What double door? The glowy double door that you ran past. Oh. Welcome, sister. I see you have been in Latin. Are you searching for something? Do you seek the truth? Well, you have come to the right place, sister. We've got more truth here than we can handle. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Who the hell are you? They call me Bishop Vic, Shepherd of the Damned, your midnight guide through our last days here on Earth. Do you feel it, sister? The curtain being drawn back at last, drawn back by my hand, by the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle. Are you talking about Gehenna? Gehenna? Judgment Day? <coughs> <coughs> the Apocalypse? Oh, again, sister. You are too indoctrinated into the antiquated beliefs of this material world. There is no rhyme. No all-powerful and terrible gods who watch over their children. You talk of disease. What about the disease that you and I both carry? Our flesh remade into nothing more than an abomination, feeding on our brothers and sisters like so many cattle. 
what god watched over me when that demon tore into my neck and made me into this monster you see before you? No, sister. There is no god who would tolerate <laughs> such a thing. And so I have become god. And the diseases I carry to the masses will bring about an end of my own making. Until we have all journeyed below into the ninth circle. Okay, are you done yet? Okay. You know, this is not a way to deal with the this. Time for words Get therapy. Has come and gone, my sister. You and I will take those last steps together and see what truth lies behind the curtain. Let the night fall forever on this cursed earth and let the fruits of my labor bring a long and bloody harvest. Are you done? Okay, bring it on, Vic. You motherfucker! What the hell? One sec. Okay. I don't think a blood bag's gonna help. Okay. Okay, there we go. Actually, I'm gonna use that. <laughs> We're bl blood points? I don't want blood points. Okay. I need health. Oh, well, that was your health. Okay, there we go. Oh, look! Hey, there you go. Now it's letting you out. Isn't that nice? That's very nice of them. I had something on my nose this entire time and I just realized it was there and wiped it off. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. Alright. Hey Strauss, do you know what the hell was going on across from the across the street from you? Mr. All Powerful Magician Man? You couldn't tell that He's out? He's not a magician. He's a warlock. Oh, big difference. You didn't know this was going on across the street from you? Really? You couldn't figure this out yourself? Hello, neonates. How can I- Shut up. Of course. I solved the problem. You have? Impressive, young one. What exactly was the source of the epidemic? It was a blood cult headed by a vampire named Bishop Vic, a plague Tell bearer. Me of this so-called bishop. He wanted to bring about the end of the world. Uh, I see. That end may very well be upon us. But to business. I have a debt to pay you for your services. Yes, you do. <laughs> you desire, I can give to you a unique talisman that might be of use in the future. If that does not interest you, I can compensate you with hard currency. You decide. I'm going to take the talisman. A wise decision, neonate. True power lies not in wealth, but in the things it affords you. I hope this object serves you well. Blood star. Oh, let's see what it is in your inventory. Yeah. All kindred have the innate power to push their undead bodies to the height of mortal capacity, but only for a moment and at a dire cost of blood. This Eldritch Talisman was crafted to boost this ability. Blood buff has twice the duration. Hey! hey! Oh. oh, wait, this way. Well, that was good. Yeah, good job. Yeah, you have wait, to talk let's to Damsel too. Or? Yep. Oh, yes, now you have to go report back to Damsel, yeah. Yes, talk to Damsel. 
another quest done. Hey, more experience, more things. See, there's that, that noise again. Okay, so it's not just me then. No, it's not you. It's 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 I, been. I, I've been. I hear it every time we come downtown. I'm like, either oh, someone's okay. getting kidnapped and they've just been shoved in the trunk of a car. All the plague bears are dead. You killed all of them? You. Huh. So I guess you want me to thank you or something? Damn it. Thanks, okay? Well, cool for now, but just don't go bragging to everybody about it. Still a bishop in a good way. Uh. <laughs> um. All right, damsel. You're not so bad. Righteous. You know, you just don't have an anarch soul. I'll let you chew on that, Danny. Some of the boys might have overheard our conversation and gotten the impression I've gone soft. Somebody in this joint's got a lack of restraint to keep their mouth shut. Um. Uh, I'll, I'm not gonna try and swear either way. See you later. Alright. You wanna go to Chinatown? Let me double check the log. Just to be sure, and then I think we'll go to Chinatown, yeah. Good. Okay, let's talk to Pisha. Yeah, let's talk to Pisha and see if we can get rid of some of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Or if we can just explain to her, hey, I didn't send you I didn't send you the TV reporter, but I sent you Patty. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. And this playthrough I sent her Patty. I, I didn't film it, guys, but uh when I was replaying, I was like, whatever, I'll just send Patty down just to take care of it. Also, fun fact, I looked it up. Pisha is voiced by um, Mary Elizabeth McGuinn. Yes. And actually, she voices another character in a different Vampire the Masquerade game. She is Catherine Bisa, or Ekaterina the Wise, in uh, Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. Yeah. I just remember know her as Catherine. Julia. No, you're no Catherine's not Julia. She's a different. No, character. I'm talking about Julia from Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> oh, I'm looking for a bounty hunter. <laughs> Sorry, I thought because Julia's in Shadows of New York as well, and that's where we saw Catherine again, and where I we we saw Catherine because mm -hmm. we didn't play Redemption. Thought all this was cleared. Ah, damn it. Remember when we pretty much got lost in this hole? Shush! <laughs> no, I was just saying it's so much better the second time. See how much progress you've made. <sighs> it's because this is the third time I've had to do this. <laughs> Alright, hello, Pisha. I made a request of you. Why have you not sent the man down? I let him go. Disappointing. He will bring others. Lawmen. This will be an inconvenience. I should have known not to involve a novice in this matter. I go. Wait. I made a request of you. <sighs> Disappointing. All right. I guess that's... That's that. That's that. All right, we've cleaned everything up. Most everything up. That's okay. So, to Chinatown? To Chinatown. 